So you want to stay low because all the heat and smoke's rushing above you. And you want to come over and you also want to get your shoulder into the corner of the windowsill. You're bailing out and then you're just hanging. So this week we were able to do uh, bailout training on the first day, which is a self-rescue device that we utilize here at Spokane City Fire. We all carry it in our turnouts, um, but it'll allow us in an emergency situation to bail out a window. Propelling was a lot of fun. So we repelled off the, the fifth story. And so that was a lot of our first times uh, putting on an actual harness and going on a belay system and working with that. So uh, for, for a few of us, it was our first time doing it. Kind of leaning back over the edge is a little bit intimidating. Stress inoculation course today was, it was a lot. We started off right in the truck. They got the lights, sirens going. They were blasting rock music for me. Got back, forced the door, ran up some stairs, searched, and then fell through a floor. We put them into a very stressful situation and then get them to realize that they need to calm down. They need to gather themselves and figure a way out. Making my way towards Alpha. We had to figure out how to control our breathing uh, and problem solve under stressful situations. But um, it was fun. I think that everybody has had their own struggles with it, their own successes with it, and uh, we've all been able to learn a lot. We deal with some very stressful situations quite often, and we want them to recognize that scientifically it's been proven that as your heart rate increases, certain cognitive functions cease to start or cease to function. Uh, you lose fine motor skills as your heart rate goes up. You lose your senses, such as hearing. I was just definitely relying on the training and knowing what the next steps are and following those procedures and trying not to panic and trying to keep your breathing under control. We get them very tired. We get them low on air. So they're already pushing the limits of what they can do physically. And that's when we really introduce the stress to them. And then get them to realize that they need to calm down. They need to gather themselves and figure a way out. And it really, hopefully, in the long run, will help save somebody's life down the road when they get into that stressful situation and they can recognize it and then deal with it appropriately.